Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I want to say welcome to all the new Krita users who are trying Tablet Pro for the first time. So what does Tablet Pro do? Well, Tablet Pro provides these hotkeys here on the side that allow you to navigate and do a lot of different things like adjusting the brush size on the fly and opening up the pop-up palette. You can choose different colors very quickly change blending modes, and undo it all if you want. All of these are customizable, as is the size of the artist pad. So let me show you how to get that set up. Uh, the first thing, let's go ahead and go to Settings, Configure. We're going to choose Keyboard Shortcuts. And now by default, Tablet Pro is a shortcut scheme and a profile in the Canvas input settings. We're very happy to be included by Krita as a preset. Uh, it's a great way for us and Krita to advance the digital art community, and we're very thankful. In order to download Tablet Pro, go to tabletpro.net and click on the Download Now button. That'll bring you to our subscriber form in the footer. Fill in your information, hit subscribe, and you'll have instructions and a download link emailed to you immediately. To set up the Krita preset, you're going to right click on the desktop icon, choose settings, go to the gear icon, and then this little down arrow here for preset folder. Choose advanced hotkey and click open. Then go to layout details, choose load preset, and choose the Krita preset in here. Click open and click apply. The artist pad has a couple of settings that you want to be mindful of. The first one is the large, medium, and small. These are not scaling options. These are different layouts. So if I have medium selected and I open that up, that's going to be different than the large one or the small one. The second thing to be aware of is that this option right here is for Ntrig and this one is for Wacom. So if you're using one device over the other and you want to use the simultaneous pen and touch, you're going to want to apply that accordingly. Also, you'll notice with my layout that it has a custom skin behind it. That's handled right here, and those can be uh, those files you can find the templates inside of the Community Assets folder. Tablet Pro should be set up correctly now. To access that, you can right-click down here uh, what I'm using up here is called the quick panel, but you can just go up here and select artist pad and that will open that over here on the side. For the next step, we're going to go to the Cortana search bar. I'm going to type pen settings. You can type pen and it should still bring that up here at the top. Windows 10 and Windows 10 anniversary update have different settings for the pen and they perform very differently. Left hand and right hand modes as well as ignore touch input when using my pen will have an effect on how the artist pad works inside a Tablet Pro. If you're having trouble, you may want to adjust these settings. The last thing that we need to do is to install the WinTab driver. The link for the WinTab driver will be right underneath this video. So you'll click there, you'll go here, download this, install it, and then restart your machine. That's it, you guys should be set. Uh, we would love for you guys to share our work and all the hard work that Crit has been doing make videos on YouTube showing the use of the artist pad, showing off all of your art skills, and share it with your friends. If you guys have questions, you can email me at justice at tabletpro.net. And as always, take care and stay creative.